Miss Monkey 1000. The other day, well, it's been a couple weeks now, that we went to a liquidation store and we bought a few things. And we got this, it's firecracker chocolate truffle. So I thought we'd make this and see how well it turns out. It was only 50 cents. I bought two boxes. And you need it has it it has everything you pretty much need except for one ingredient um, you have chocolate cookie crumbs semi sweet chocolate bar and red white and blue sprinkles and all you need to do is add cream cheese to it so let's see how well this works I've never had them so hopefully it works out pretty good okay the first thing is you take cream cheese and cookie crumbs and you blend them together so you need you need four ounces of cream cheese I'm going to open this up and put cream cheese in here now I got eight ounce so we're going to cut it in half and just use half of it Hmm. It magically cut. That was pretty cool. I didn't even have to do it. So anyways, you're going to take your four ounce of cream cheese here and dump it in here. Uh, kind of. It's like everywhere. My hands are clean, so I don't know. Deal with that. Alright, I'm going to stick that back in here for right now. Okay. Let me see. Get my towel here. There we go. So, we're going to take this and cookie crumbs. So, we're going to open up the box and see what we got in here. crumbs there we go and we got our sprinkle <laughs> my assistant over here he's having te technical difficulties today <laughs> there's the sprinkles and baker shot cool this is cute I thought this would be fun this would be fun with your grandkids and stuff for Christmas or something you know just or your children. Something fun for a family. Okay, so we've got the got to get the cookie crumbs in here now. So let me cut this open. Or rip it open. And it just says use the cookie crumbs. Just pour them in there, I guess. So we're gonna pour this in here. And we're gonna mix them together. Gonna mix it up. I guess it seems to use a spatula, not a spoon, but I don't know why. So that's what they use. I might use a spoon or a fork, but better. I'm just gonna mix it because you can't really. There we go. Maybe we can get a little softer. And you're gonna mix this all up. I think I'm going to use a spoon to me. That would be a lot easier than this thing. Okay, let me see here. Try it this way. You got to blend it all in. I'm gonna blend this in and we'll we'll be right back.
Really? we can here and that's what it's going to look like uh, make sure you soften your your cream cheese um it says four ounces but i i don't know anyways that's all we get there so that's out of one box now what you're going to do it says to you're going to make them into balls and you're going to use a level tablespoon for each piece on a baking sheet lined with wax paper or parchment paper and freeze for 15 minutes so i'm just going to make balls here and it said level so we can do this i'm not really good with my life. so i don't think it's going to make that many really make it level i guess there we go. Okay. And then we're going to make a ball out of it. So, we're going to roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And make a little ball. There you go. Just like so. So we're going to put it on our paper here. I don't know where you, if you can see it. I'm going to put it right there so you can see a little bit better. And we'll just continue. And you're going to do this until you don't have any more. Okay, everyone. Now I have all my balls done for my chocolate. <laughs> and they look cute. And that really did make more than what I thought because you, you have to level it out and roll it. And so sometimes you think things are going to be not the way they are. So next we're going to do the chocolate and we're going to melt the chocolate, the Baker's Sweet, semi-sweet chocolate. We're going to do that. Here it is. So you're going to chocolate in the microwave bowl on high for 30 seconds and stir so I have my little cup here, and I'm going to put it in here since it's Christmassy. Yeah. So um, it doesn't say to break it up. Should I break it up? You know. That's so. you know common sense. Really? Well, have you ever made anything like this before? No, not really. I mean, I have, but. Been a long time. I know it's cool, isn't it? it? Says the ounce on it, and it's got the little lady on there. That's cute. Isn't that cool? So we break it up, and we'll put it on the microwave for 30 seconds. And you're gonna stir and do it for another 30 seconds. And you're gonna stir and continue. Continue heating and stirring in 10 seconds in, until completely melted. You got it there, babe? He's, he's smelling the chocolate. I think you got it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to microwave this and we'll come right back as soon as we're done. Okay everyone, I got the chocolate all melted up nicely. And we put the, the balls, the chocolate balls, in the freezer for 15 minutes. And so now what we're going to do, you take a fork and you're going to take your ball and you're going to dip your fork in 
like that. And you're going to dip it into your chocolate. Hopefully everyone can see that. And get all the chocolate around it as much as you can. You can roll it if you want. Kind of dip it in there. But you're going to have to be very careful picking it up. Just like so. Whoa. Oh no. That might be better just to do that. There we go. Okay. You're going to put it back on your sheet. And continue doing each ball. Like so. It says you're supposed to do that immediately. Because the chocolate will get hard. So we're going to roll this again best we can. You want to get it all completely done. So my assistant's going to put the sprinkles on while I do the dipping with the chocolate. So we're going to do that. Okay everyone, so we um, took them out of the freezer and while the chocolate was melting and we dipped it all. So now um, we're going to put them in the fridge and let them sit for 15 minutes in the fridge. And then we'll be back. Okay, everyone, we're back. We got them out of the fridge, and as you see, this is your result. They're nice and firm. And we're going to taste test them. Huh, babe? Yep, you are. You don't want to try them? He doesn't. He doesn't get into sweets. It's nice and firm, so it looks cute. Little ballsies on there. Okay, let's try it. Hmm. Wow. Lots of chocolate in there. Now, this is sweet. Very sweet. You could probably only eat one or two. Um. It says for bite size, you can make it a half a teaspoon. Yeah, you can make a half teaspoon and make it smaller. Very, it's good. It's not that it's not. It's just very sweet. Yeah. And I think it was fun. It was, I just seen your orb. Did you? In here. Oh yeah. In the camera. I saw an orb. It was funny. It was. We were waiting. She I, called it a bubble. And it was like a little tiny, and it looked like a bubble, and it was climbing, like a spider climbs, and then it just went, pew, and it was gone. So, that was it. Not bad. I could eat one or two, and then, poof, I'd be done. Definitely. But, it's a cute little thing for 50 cents. We did pretty good. Here's the thing on the back for you. Do you want to read it yourself and get all the directions and everything? Um, Pinster. You can go on Pinster, it says. And, um, where did I see that? Oh, it says here, open Pinster and top for ideas. So it'll give you some kind of ideas and stuff. So I think this comes from Pinster on, on the internet had it. The chocolate box also has a recipe on it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That the, the bar chocolate came in. So yeah. you can do all kinds of stuff with this, but it's a nice little treat and something to do with your family. Be fun. So after that or we are tomorrow we're going to do some yard sailing sailing away we're going to sell um we're going to go with that other guy tomorrow like we did last saturday and hopefully we get some better results mm, and we'll see what happens from there so i'm going to say i'm out for now and i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned i have more coming up Bye, y'all.